Welcome to the BioWhisperer channel and the topic today is on a perspective overview of the four principles of biology. The four principles are the cell theory, the gene theory, the concept of homeostasis and finally the review of evolution. We will bring you through each of the four principles and provide a discussion. It all started when Theodor Schwann and Matthias Schleiden proposed the cell theory in 1839 where the cell is the basic and functional unit of life and where all living things revolve around being composed of one or more cells. Robert Hooke is an English polymath active as a scientist and architect, who, using a microscope, was the first to visualize a microorganism. Rudolf Ludwig Karl Fierko was a German physician, also honored with the title Father of Modern Pathology. Fergo used the theory that all cells arise from pre-existing cells to lay the groundwork for cellular pathology or the study of disease at the cellular level. His work made it more clear that diseases occur at the cellular level. Given the work of these four key scientists, the cell theory was born though it took time for further advances to bring together the entire cell biology subdiscipline. Let's quickly review one of these advances which is microscopy. Shown on the left is the Hooke microscope, which shared several common features with telescopes of the period. Using an eye cup to maintain the correct distance between the eye and eyepiece, separate draw tubes for focusing, and a ball and socket joint for inclining the body. Hooke designed an ingenious method of concentrating light on his specimens. What he did is to pass light generated from an oil lamp through a water-filled glass flask to diffuse the light and provide a more even and intense illumination for the samples. Shown on the right of the screen is the more modern and complex equipment to support life cell imaging which is the study of living cells using time-lapse microscopy. It is used by scientists to obtain a better understanding of biological function. Next up is the gene theory which is another of the basic principles of biology. The main conceptual understanding framed by this theory is that traits are passed from parents to offspring through gene transmission. The principles that govern heredity were introduced by a monk named Gregor Mendel in the 1860s. These principles are now called Mendel's Law of Segregation and Law of Independent Assortment. Mendel is also honored for his work as the father of modern genetics. Genes, which is the basic unit of an expressed trait, are located on chromosomes and consist of DNA. They are passed from parent to offspring through reproduction in what is known as the Mendelian inheritance. Later on in the year 1908, Garrett proposed the one-gene one-polypeptide hypothesis, which is reinforced with Morgan's framing of the gene theory in the year 1911. It is only till decades later in the year 1949 when Linus Pauling and Ingram established the roles of genes in protein synthesis. Beetle and Tatum studied the relationship between genes and enzymes initially in mutants and they found that mutants lacking certain enzymes will need the necessary nutrients for their survival. The one gene one enzyme hypothesis is then proposed to indicate the function of a gene as to dictate the production of a specific expressed enzyme. Later on, as our understanding improves, we understand that genes control the synthesis of proteins where apart from enzymes, there are other proteins that play the role as hormones since polypeptides are made from long chain of amino acids which are folded to be functional proteins. The hypothesis is subsequently being modified to one gene, one polypeptide hypothesis. Next up is the concept of homeostasis, which is the ability to maintain a constant internal environment in response to environmental changes. It is a unifying principle of biology. The nervous and endocrine systems control homeostasis in the body through feedback mechanisms involving various organs and organ systems. The concept was first framed by the Claude Bernard which later on in 1932, a scientist by the name Walter Cannon introduced the term homeostasis. To describe this maintenance of constant conditions which is a delicate balance of control and effector regulation. In order to remain stable, the system must be able to measure the variable, detect the errors and counteract these errors. 
Sensor helps to provide the feedback via sensory receptors, which pick up and relay the signals to the integrating center, which will evaluate if the set point, that is the value to which the system is trying to return if perturbed, before triggering the effector response. Negative feedback is the principle of operation of homeostatic systems when systems response is directed to offset the change. On the contrary, the principle of feed forward is triggered when the system reacts before the actual change in control variable response in anticipation. Positive feedbacks are also present in the body, but they are not parts of homeostatic mechanisms. They often destabilize, rather than stabilize and accelerate transitions between different states. We have evolved to possess antagonistic effectors which are used to increase the precision of control and homeostasis. The term evolution refers to the mechanism that produces the morphological change that is implied by limited common descent or descent with modification through successive generations. Indeed, evolution in this sense refers chiefly to the mechanism of natural selection acting on random genetic variation or mutations. The theory of evolution by natural selection is a theory about the mechanism by which evolution occurred in the past and is still occurring now. The basic theory was developed by both Darwin and Wallace. The theory states that biological change takes place with two basic characteristics. Firstly, let's look at the concept of variation. Random variations occur in the traits of individual organisms and are passed on to their offspring. Next, we will explore the concept which is the struggle for existence. There is an existential competition that ensures advantageous traits are preserved and disadvantageous traits are eliminated. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please smash the like button and subscribe to this channel for future updates.